Will YouTube monetize meditation video channels like running a single meditation video or a music on a loop for a longer duration or multiple set of videos or any different videos for that matter? Have you ever wondered how meditation video channels are made and how they are monetized? If you are seeking answers for these questions, I covered every aspect of it. So watch the video till the end. You will get a comprehensive idea about meditation video channels and even you can revamp your thoughts on starting a meditation channel. I'm gonna show you two channels which are suffered because of demonetization. Hey, my name is Vinod and I make YouTube growth related videos. If you find the videos are interesting and engaging, please consider subscribing to the channel and set the bell notification to all so that whenever I put new videos, you will get notified. Let's get started. If you have a meditation channel or wishing to start a meditation channel, let me know in the comments below. Meditation channels or meditation videos are made more popular because all YouTube money making gurus said you need not to shoot or show your face and even you can copy and paste videos which are already made and you can make money online. Is that true? Is it so easy to monetize and earn money from YouTube by making these things? Let's dig into a bit further. In my opinion, meditation videos are subjected to reused content and repurposing someone else's content. Why? Where do you find or get the source of these videos? Do you compose the music and do you go to different places to shoot the videos? I hope not. The most conventional and easy way are to get these videos and the photos from free stock photos sites like Pixabay and Pixels and the background music from any royalty free music sites and you can download it or even you can go to YouTube audio library which is totally free and you can do download it and you can use it. Even some will go extra mile and they outsource the work. They pay to a freelancer to get the audio and video from. Then they will edit it and make a video. By doing it either way, be it you take the stock footages and royalty free music or even you can buy. YouTube consider this as reused content. Shocked? Let me explain in detail. Take it as an example. You are taking a video from Pixels uh, and music from audio library. Do you know how many people have downloaded the same video footages and the same music from the sites before? No, you don't have any idea or any data for that matter. Where do you got these ideas from? From a YouTube channel like how can you make money online without showing your face or copy and paste videos on YouTube and make money? So there are thousands of videos on the same title in every language. These videos got millions of views and thousands of their subscribers will attempt to make the video in the same pattern. They show new social blade stats of a bigger channel which got millions of views and they're earning in millions in ad revenue. Yes, of course, I don't deny that. These channels are earning in great amount of money. But if you start a channel today in this niche, can you replicate the same? If you keep using the same video footages that others used, YouTube will consider it as a reused content. Here you don't get any copyright issues because you are taking it from a free stock footage sites on royalty free music sites. Yes, I understand you are downloading the footages and editing it out to create a new video, but the content used in the video and the music used is not yours. YouTube is looking at the amount of reused content used in your videos. Here, your video and audio are 100% reused content. If you want monetization, at least your original content should be 80% and the reused content should be 20%, then YouTube may consider for monetization. Let's assume you buy an audio and visuals from a freelancer. There are n number of freelancing sites to offer these services. Do you really know the audio and the visuals sold only to you? There are thousands of requests came for the same genre of music. What the freelancer will do? They create a set of music and they sell the same music to different people in different sites. You don't even know they can download music from royalty free music site and sell because some of the royalty free music site doesn't require any attribution. Not everyone does this but it's quite possible to do so. No matter whether you buy or you use free materials available, YouTube considers this as a reused content. Now, people comment up with the stats saying that these channels got monetized with the same type of content. Why not me? These channels got monetized 
two or three years before when the reused content policy was even not exist. But the new channel with this type of content faces a lot of hurdles even some of the old channels also getting demonetized. Neither you or nor I in the place where the monetization judgment takes place. All YouTubers explain the monetization policy depends upon their experience and they what hear from others. Everyone is explaining the best practices they follow to get monetized. Because of that, some on get monetized and some other being rejected for monetization with the same type of content they use. You cannot argue or pinpoint that others do the same content, why not demonetize? Yes, it's unsatisfying and disturbed when you are get demonetized. Another biggest problem in this niche itself, it's vast like an ocean. The biggest channel have millions of subscribers and they, they do have a variety of videos in every category. You need to be very consistent on your approach because it takes months and years to succeed. Don't think I am demotivating, but here are the current facts. Let me show you two channels who are suffered because of demonetization of being reused content. The channel name is, first the channel name is Relax Sleep ASMR. It has 263k subscribers. Their channel was demonetized thrice. And they even show how they originally capture the sound and visuals and how they edit some video to make up but still the channel wasn't monetized. The last video was posted 6 months ago, even he explains how he does but there were no videos after that. Can understand his agony because he invested his time, money and energy but all the things went into vain. The next channel is Stardust Vibes, Relaxing Sounds. It has 1.4 million subscribers. On 2019, this channel got demonetized because of reused content and the channel doesn't give any entertainment value. Fortunately, after so much of struggle, they got remonetized, but that will not be always the case. If you have massive fan base or the subscriber base, then they are ready to support you. You can remonetize, but it happens once in a blue moon. I leave both channel link and their respective videos links in the description. You can check it out. People think I have a meditation channels and try to stop the people of doing this to avoid competition. If meditation channels was that so easy, I could have opted that rather than making these type of videos. These are just examples, but there are a lot of channels being demonetized in these niches. You can go and search in YouTube official help forum and other YouTube related help forums, you will get a clear idea about this. Time to wrap up the video. Hope this video explains about the meditation video channel niche. Please like and subscribe to the channel and share with your YouTube friends. We will see you in another informative video. Until then, stay safe.